Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture of this course on fundamentals of structural analysis. So in our seventh lecture, uh, we have seen uh, about the internal hinges. Eighth lecture, we have discussed uh, uh, freeware for the structural analysis a software, uh, I mean, which is a web-based software. And today, we'll, we'll again come back to the, uh, you can say, our uh, main topic, which we were discussing. So today, we'll be seeing uh, arches okay so first of all we will try to analyze a two hinged arch okay and we will then try to introduce a another hinge in the truss which is actually the internal hinge and then we will see uh, what is actually happening okay so let us let us start with a true hinge arch here so what i will do i will draw a, a arch like this okay and I will provide a pin support here. I'll provide a pin support here. Right? So these are two hinges, correct? Because these are allowing rotation, correct? And what I am doing, I'm applying some distributed load here of Q. Okay. I'll name this point as A, I'll name this point as B. And these points, I mean the supports are at a distance of L. Okay. The height of the arch, if I draw, this is this H. Correct. Now, if I want to draw the free body diagram of this arch, I will draw the arch again here. Okay. So the free body diagram will be as per our sign convention that we have considered earlier. We are considering this as positive okay so we will have a y we will have a x we will have b y we will have b x don't go with the sign convention i mean direction of the arrow now because when we'll be getting the sign we'll be finding out the sign of this particular reaction then we'll understand from which direction it is coming okay now we are considering uh, all uh, according to this okay and then we will have the load here uniform this i mean distributed load of u correct right so so now if you want to solve uh, if you put the equilibrium equations so summation of sorry let me take this black one summation of f y equal to zero so in this case in this case what will happen we can say that a y plus b y minus q into l this distance is l basically so q into l equal to zero right okay distributed length over a uh, distributed load over a length of l so q l equal to zero right so now we can say that a y plus b y equal to q L right, so this is my first equation. Then we can say summation of f x equal to zero, and from here we will get a x plus b x equal to zero as there are no no force lateral force. So from here we can say a x equal to minus b x. Okay, but we couldn't solve. Uh, I mean, in this case, as it is zero. So we can, I mean, uh, uh, what should I say? Ultimately, we are get, we are going to get the value as zero. But for any value of a x equal to minus b x, this equilibrium is satisfied. So we can, what we can say, what we can say, that for any value of for any value of ax equal to minus bx okay equilibrium is satisfied the thing is there may be no horizontal force but 
as this is an arch and we have a vertical load on this this will try to this will try to distribute the force by moving along this direction and this direction as this is an arch okay and we are restricting this point to translate along these two directions so what we will get what we will get we will get two reactions which are equal and opposite to each other so this is what we get got here actually ax equal to minus bx okay though there is no lateral force so uh, we can say that ax equal to 0 bx equal to 0 but it is not the case in case of arch okay in case of arch what will happen due to this arch action we will get two reactions at this point horizontal reactions and these two reactions will be equal and opposite to each other which we are getting from this equation okay so in this case for any value of ax equal to minus bx the equilibrium is satisfied but there is one problem there is one more concept called kinematic admissibility okay so whenever you say that ax equal to minus bx for any value of this equilibrium is satisfied but there is a problem that for any value or any value of ax equal to minus bx kinematic kinematic or you can say for any or what i say any value of i should write like that any value of ax equal to minus vx may not be may not be kinematically admissible okay so for any value when we are seeing there is one one uh, thing that we need to check which we will discuss later that whether it is kinematically admissible or not so it for any value it may not be kinematically admissible okay but as of now what we can say that from this equation we can say that here due to the arch action what we will get that ax equal to minus bx that means that means the reaction that we will be getting at a and b this will be equal and opposite to each other Okay, so this in, this means what we can understand if a s is positive then b x will be will be getting from this direction so from this value we can change the i mean uh, determine the direction of the arrow actually okay from by finding out this i mean the sign of the reaction okay fine now now is it done no we have not solved the first first equation because we have not got the value of a y and b y correct so if we do summation of summation of suppose moment about a so m a equal to 0 equilibrium equation so what we can say what are the loads that can generate load i mean that, that can generate moment at the particular point so you can see q see this is uh, a q load applied on a length l and if you want to find out the equally i mean equivalent point load so it will be at the center of this particular length and what will be the intensity of the load it will be q into l right so ql right and it is acting at a distance of l by 2 from the point a right as it is at the center point so what will be generating the moment which is obviously a positive moment because it will be the direction is like this it will be ql into l by 2 right so i can say that u l multiplied by l by 2 now what are other things other components so you can see here b y which is at a distance of l will be creating a opposite direction moment like this right so it will be minus minus b y into l right minus b y into l equal to 0 so from here if i want to find out b y into l equal to q l square by 2 correct so from here if i say b y equal to basically q l by 2 right so i can say this is my third equation this is my 
second equation right and from 1 and 3 from 1 and 3 what we can say from 1 and 3 what we can say so from 1 and 3 we can say that we can say that ay is equal to also ql by 2 how because ay equal to ql minus ql by 2 so it is half will be rejected so ay equal to ql by 2 so we got ay by and we got the ax bx also right okay what how we got the ax bx we just could uh, you can say say that ax will be opposite to bx and for any value of ax equal to minus bx this equilibrium is uh, satisfied right but we couldn't find a value here right we couldn't say what will be the final uh, value of ax and bx so now now what we will do what we will do we will try to see a arch with three hinges okay a arch with three hinges so what i will do i will take this i will draw the arch again We'll draw the arch again. I will apply the pinned support here. So these are the two hinges. Now I will introduce another hinge here at the center. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. And we will try to find out. I mean, we'll try to uh, find out a value of AX or BX. Correct, like that. I mean uh, a final result we need to find out right how what is the reaction here we have not got the reaction we have got a relation between the ax and ba right so now what i will do i will take the same load here okay q so now i have introduced another support here at c so i have to draw like this I'll take only one you can say side okay as it is symmetrical so what I will do I will apply the I mean I'm drawing the free body diagram okay both both are same because these are two hinges right no moment will be there a c so it will be a y a x I would say c y and c x correct correct and i need to draw the load so here as it is the half part so here will be only q by 2 load no sorry load will be q only it is a uniform distributed load it will be added the the it is distributed over a length of l by 2 so because this is l correct okay now let us do the i mean let us uh, apply the equilibrium equations so what i will do i will to to get an additional equation what i will do we know that here the moment is zero right so moment at c equal to zero okay so if i say that summation of moment at c equal to zero so what are the things that could uh, uh create moment at this particular point if it is not a hinge so very easily you know one thing you can see this is this is a height of h right so first of all first of all this a y if i if i find out the positive moment which is this direction like this okay so this a y which is acting l by 2 distance from this point so a y into l by 2 positive then if you see here this q load again the similar uh, concept that we have discussed above if i if i draw again this q load now acting at a distance of i mean acting over a length of l by 2 so if i find out the equivalent point load it will be at the center of this l by 2 length and the intensity of the load will be q multiplied by l by 2 in this case right 
and it is acting at a distance of if i find out the distance it will be q l by 2 by 2 so that means l by 4 q l by 4 correct sorry not q l by 4 l by 4 correct so in this case in this case the moment that will be generated will be this multiplied by the distance so i can say q l by 2 so minus q l by 2 multiplied by l by 4 am i right okay now what is the sorry what is the other thing that will be there is this ax so ax will also generate a negative moment so minus i mean as per the sign convention so minus ax into this height so a x h equal to 0 right so now if i see uh a y and b y i know right a y and b y i know so a y is already we found out here it will be the same here so a y will be q l by 2 b y also q l by 2 so i can directly write i am not finding it here because i already found out the same equation will be will be doing it here so what we will do we know that q l by 2 multiplied by l by 2 minus q l square by 8 right minus a x h equal to 0 right so here it will be q l square by 4 q l square by 4 minus q l square by 8 minus a x h equal to 0 correct so here how how much we am getting i am getting minus minus q l square by 4 or what no i am getting here q l square by q l square by 8 because if you see you will take 8 then 2 q l square minus 1 q l square so q l square minus a x into 0 okay and from here we can say that a x h equal to q l square by 8 and finally a x equal to a x equal to q l square by 8 h so now now if you see after uh, i mean when we could provide another support here in terms of hinge which is a three hinge uh, if i say it is a three hinge arch so now we could get a definite value of this horizontal force or a horizontal reaction that will be developed which is ax uh, sorry ql square by h now we knew that ax equal to minus bx and now we can say that say that if ax equal to ql square by 8h then uh, bx i mean the other reaction will be minus ql square by 8h right so this is how we can solve i mean we could do the two hinge arch and three hinge arch okay so i hope it is clear to all of you i hope it is clear to all of you right so uh, I will keep the lecture up to here only. In our next lectures, we will try to do few more. I mean, uh, I mean, we'll be proceeding with the other topics of fundamentals of structure analysis, especially the statics as of now. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can always write me in the chat. I will try to uh, answer as per my capacity. And uh, thank you, and see you in the next lecture.